So Dublin 4-9, Kerry 118 at Semple Stadium. In the end, Dublin and Kerry play out a draw at Semple Stadium in a game that really was a game of two halves. It really, really was. You know, I was saying that, of course, on the on the live stream there towards the end. In the end, you know, Dublin at one stage in that game looked like they were going to absolutely maul Kerry. It looked like they were going to run through them completely, maybe score five or six goals and maybe put Kerry to bed and really put out a statement win. Um, but in the end, Kerry actually deserve a lot of credit in my opinion, especially towards the end of that uh, second half, like they really rallied, they showed a lot of fight, they showed a lot of heart, determination, um, and you know, it's it's we've seen it before where a lot of teams, when Dublin have them under pressure, where Dublin are going at them full throttle, they struggle and they fall to pieces, and it's a very common team, you know, we've seen it when Dublin went up against Mead last year in the Leinster final, Mayo of course back in 2019, it's happened on numerous occasions, and Kerry in the end, I think, the defense or the 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 switch by uh, Peter Keane when he brought David Moran off and bringing Ronan Buckley on, I thought was a a very smart decision. I think David Moran struggled at times in this game, but uh, yeah, you know, from from a Dublin point of view, for a Dublin fan myself, quite disappointed with that second half performance. We were sluggish, we were a bit poor. We seemed to kind of just take our eye off the ball, and it was um, complacency, in my opinion, that really cost us there. Because uh, it's not like a lack of, it's not like we don't have the experience. It's not like we don't have the players. We've done it a hundred times before, where Dublin have a lead, they manage a lead and manage a game. But for whatever reason, in that second half, we just seem to, uh, yeah, just really struggle, really struggle. And Kerry overran us in the midfield. They were pressing us high up on kickouts and kept turning us over. What's the story, lads? Welcome back to GA Fan TV. So Dublin 4-9, Kerry 118, of course, today at Semple Stadium. This is the match reaction, of course, after Dublin and Kerry play out a draw, of course, at Semple Stadium. Yeah, big thank you to anyone, of course, who tuned into the live stream. Do very much uh, appreciate it. I'll start doing you know a live stream every week, of course. Uh, giving my reaction to the game. A few people were asking at the start of the stream, am, am I showing the game? I'm not showing the game, obviously, because, you know, I w the channel would get taken down, you know, if, if we start showing matches, obviously, copyright and all that kind of stuff. So we certainly won't be showing the game. I'll just be filming my reaction to the game, giving my thoughts on the reaction, responding to comments as they come in, all that stuff. So, yeah, in the end, look, listen, what a very impressive game from, from both teams. Dublin in the first half, Kerry in the second half. You'll see the teams listed there on the right-hand side so for the Dublin side they made two late changes Mick Fitzsimons came in for Johnny Cooper Sean McMahon came in for Darren Mullen and for Kerry Jermaine O'Connor came in for Jack Barry um some decisive moments certainly in this game in the first half Dublin were cutting through Kerry with ease Kerry were set up defensively they had a lot of men behind the ball but they were struggling they were really struggling they were doing very well in the in the halfback line area in my opinion, they were preventing Dublin from scoring points. And I think that's one of the reasons why Dublin only hit nine points in this game. Um, so I think they were doing a great job there. It was just that when Dublin started working the ball into the fullback line, into Kerry's fullback line, um, you know, the likes of Cormac Costello, Con O'Callaghan, Paddy Small, creating a lot of space, creating a lot of chances for, for Dublin. And they were creating so many goal opportunities. And, you know, Dublin are rootless in front of goal. Like, they, there's a reason why they've won six All-Irelands in a row. They're so, they, they create this, you know, the, the goals that they score a lot of the time are the same kind of goals you see a hundred times where they work these little triangles, they get into the square and then, you know, either Dean Rock will, will fist it maybe into uh, Con O'Callaghan or Cormac Costello, etc. You know, and Paddy Small involved as well. And that's kind of how a lot of the goals came and Con O'Callaghan took his goal brilliantly well. Man of the match for me, he ended up scoring 2-1, I believe it was, in this game. Just a, a really, really impressive performance from him. Uh, Cormac Costello hit 2-3. You know, missed a couple of frees early on and you were a bit worried. Was he, you know, was the confidence maybe getting to him a bit maybe after the two penalty misses, of course, last weekend. But uh, impressive stuff from him. And he could certainly nail down that position ahead of Dean Rock in the future, in my opinion. Because Dean Rock is certainly getting older and I do think that's what Desi's trying to do. Um, Paddy Small hit three points. Impressive as well uh, at different stages in the game. Uh, Niall Scully, I thought, was fantastic in the first half. He really dictated the flow of the game for Dublin's uh, half-forward line. He was he just does so much, Niall Scully, and he, he doesn't get the credit he deserves sometimes because he you know he's not a flashy forward. He's not going to score you three, four, five points a game, but he does so much work for the team, and he very much epitomizes you know how well Dublin have done. In the past couple of years. Tom Lahiff was brilliant. Uh, I was surprised to see him go off. I don't know if it was an injury. But I thought he was doing a brilliant job in, uh, in midfield. 
Brian Fenton, one or two lackluster passes at times. Maybe not his his best performance in the second half. Um, and as for Kerry, like you know, David Clifford hit one six in the end, and in the first half he struggled. Uh, you know, at different times, and I thought Kerry struggled massively. But you've got to give Peter Keane a lot of credit. Funnily enough, you know, we were criticising him at half time. We were saying why are why are Kerry set up so defensively? What are they trying to do? But um, yeah, in the end, they they rallied massively. They started overturning Dublin in the midfield. They started piling the pressure on. Dublin started struggling more and more. Whether it was complacency, I'm not sure because there's definitely there's no lack of inexperience in that Dublin team. They've won multiple All Irelands. They've won six, seven. You know, they've won six in a row. They're probably going to win seven in a row. So there's, it's not like there's a lack of inexperience. It was just maybe complacency took their eye off of, off the ball a little bit late on in the second half. Um, and the changes as well. Ronan Buckley, who came on, I thought made a massive difference to this Kerry team. Just added a bit more bite, a little bit more heart as well in that midfield. Um, and, and Paul Murphy started getting more forward as well and creating more problems for, uh, for that Dublin team. Uh, John Small, of course, went off injured. Um... Of course, he pulled his hamstring, I think, late on. Philly McMahon came on and gave away the penalty, unfortunately. Um, Dublin on this brilliant run at the moment without conceding goals. And unfortunately, that record didn't continue. Blatant penalty, without doubt. Of course, David Clifford dispatching the goal. But of course, there were some very controversial decisions in this game. Uh, Dara Moynihan, of course, scoring that goal right at the end of the first half. And the referee uh, pulled it back Um because of this very bizarre advantage rule where the advantage is not being played essentially and the referees are being told to call it back i don't understand it i don't know who who makes these rules and it's very infuriating and look i am a dublin fan and i obviously don't want to see Kerry score but that was a goal like how can you call it back for a free and disallow the goal like it just makes no sense it really really doesn't i mean it, it it's a free it's a it, it's a goal like it's a goal I just don't understand that whatsoever. Um, and it's something they need to address. Like, they really need to address that rule coming into the into the championship. Because like I was saying on the stream, could you imagine a situation where Dublin potentially, or even Kerry potentially, score a last-minute goal to win an All-Ireland and it gets clawed off because the referee is like, no, no, the advantage, the advantage rule. I mean, there would be absolute uproar. There would be uproar of the highest order. So certainly they need to fix that they need to sort that out but um but yeah in the end it ended in a draw 117 to 212 it's the third time that dublin and Kerry have drawn in the past four meetings between these two um which is very interesting indeed you know there's really not a lot to split dublin and Kerry down the years there's been not a lot to split them in recent seasons and in the end you know there's nothing to split them today again um, and, and certainly you would have felt if that game went on longer for another 5-10 minutes that Kerry probably would have won it they certainly fought back very well and uh, late on and you know Tommy Walsh coming on for Killian Spillane uh, I sung Killian Spillane's praises quite a lot in the stream at the start and even towards the uh, in, in the in the predictions video of course uh, you know leading up to this weekend's games but he didn't have his best game to be fair and Tommy Walsh came on and just added another dynamic to that team and he was uh, he was brilliant. He was fantastic for for Kerry in that game. So, yeah, in the end, of course, a draw. Dublin four nine, Kerry one eighteen. So the Galway and Roscommon game is just finishing up at the moment. So we'll see how that goes. But in the end, uh, Dublin and Kerry leave themselves in a great position to potentially go on to a league semi final. And like what I said before, I think this will be the first of three meetings between Dublin and Kerry this year. I think they'll play in the league final, and I think they'll play they'll play in the All Ireland final as well. So. Yeah, do, uh, do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Do very much uh, appreciate it. If you haven't seen the stream already, though, do go back and have a look. Um, and yeah, you know, uh, very much appreciate all the support recently. So uh, yeah, uh, have, a, have a lovely week and I'll, I'll catch you for the Waterford and Limerick game a little bit later.